Hey everybody, how we doing today? So today's video is the three R's. We're gonna do a recon, recovery, and review. Uh, for today's recon, I'm looking for a new launch spot here inside Key West. Uh, the issues are is this next year they're going to be doing work on the bridge that leads out of Key West. So right now there's two lanes in, two lanes out, but next year they're gonna cut it down to one lane in and one lane out. And I don't know how long that's gonna last. It's a nightmare already, so it's just gonna be horrible when that happens. So on days I don't have a lot of time, I can't get stuck at that bridge. So I'm gonna to try to find a spot here in Key West that gets me out to the Gulf side. Um, I've got one towards Atlantic, so this will be strictly for getting me to the Gulf side, especially my uh, backcountry spots. So I found a spot that's actually right in central Key West. But there's a little uh, reservoir with a little cut that goes and leads to a canal that goes out to the uh, Gulf side. So I'm going to look to see if that's a viable route. I know there's a nice launch location, but I just need to make sure that that little passageway to the canal is uh, accessible with my kayak. If that's a good, then we're all set. If not, then I could find another spot that's on the actual canal, but it doesn't have as good as secure uh, parking, so we'll have to see. So here's the launch spot. It's right here on 10th Street, kind of in the central of Key West. This little uh, pond here, but there's actually the uh, canal runs across and then goes to actually that canal that I take to go to the Atlantic side. So it's the same one that cuts right through Key West, but I'm gonna launch here and then hopefully I can get out to the Gulf. Well, the review part of it is, whoa, slippery. I had to replace my uh, little O-rings where my rudder lines go into the kayak. I kept almost sinking. Uh, I'd go out to the back country and come back and my kayak would be like half full of water. But I did a leak test and that's where it was pouring in and uh, the O-ring pulled out, the tube fell off, so it was basically a hole there. And then when I'm running on the motor, this sits down below the water line, so it was just flooding in with water. So I replaced the O-rings, got it all put back together again. So we're gonna see if uh, that fixes that. Oh, this is a really nice uh, walking platform they built. It's really new because all the bolts are still non-rusty. Uh, yeah, pretty nice, I guess, for bird watching. Could do some fishing out here, I bet. Pretty nice. Got the new nice little launch areas there. So I'm going to be heading over there and to the right because that's out where the gulf is. And hopefully that opening will get me to the main canal over there. I could also go that way and that'll take me the route back to the uh, where uh, Fred's boat is docked along that uh, canal along the, the houses there. But uh, we'll see what happens here. I bet you I could find uh, snook and carpet in here, plus a lot of mangroves. I'm fairly certain that I can get through because of all the boats here. So they have to be able to get out in and out of here. So we're just going to head out here and then on out. And it comes out right behind the uh, Denny's and uh, Winn-Dixie. Oh yeah, no problem. Plenty of space, plenty of depth. This is the other access I was thinking about. There's a road that goes from behind the Wind Dixie that you can drive up here, but there's a lot of bums and stuff that hang out in here, so I wouldn't feel safe leaving my car there. I guess you could unload and then park in the parking lot, but otherwise a lot easier. Now the only thing I have to do is be able to get under the bridge from uh, US 1 here and then we're good to go out in the Gulf. I mean, yeah, on the Gulf side. So there's Denny's, the new Denny's. And then the Wind Dixie Plaza is in here. And as long as I can fit underneath the bridge, we're good to go. There's a spot that you could park in front of Denny's and walk your kayak down the little path because this is where all the uh, boaters come in at. Just got to watch the fishing poles. But you can walk your stuff right down there because there's a pathway. And 
we're back out into the Gulf side. So as we come out, there's the entranceway to uh, Garrison Bight. That's basically the marina right by my place. That's the military housing where the Coast Guard, um, my buddy uh, Jose used to live there and that's where we launched with, with his boat. That's kind of the live aboard section there. And then uh, Sigsby is this section here. So uh, now we're off to the uh, recover mode. So I got a little thing I need to recover. All right, on to the recovery stage. I got a uh, email from uh, one of my viewers that was down this last weekend and um, they left their uh, pinfish trap here and even though they left to go home and just asked if I wanted to pick it up for them. So that's what I'm going to do today. Matt Stratton. So he sent me a uh, picture of kind of where it's at. Oh, glare. But uh, it's basically should be right in front of that hotel there and then kind of straight out from that second dock. So we're going to see if we can pull up their trap. Thinking this is it here. Yep. I see the name Stratton on it. Ugh. This phone number. This is the trap we're looking for. Wow, oh, barely has any moss on it. Hey, he's got some crabs. Got a pinfish. Snow crabs. <laughs> Freedom! Like a scorpion fish or something. Freedom! Everybody out. No free rides. Jump. Yeah, I left it empty, but I guess they just still scavenge in there. So that's the trap! And recovery is done. Well, since I've got one, let me show you what a pinfish trap is. So this is a standard pinfish trap. Basically all it is is a galvanized wire so it won't rust. Uh, you have entry points for the, the bait fish, the pinfish to swim in. And then there's an opening on the top here so they can get into the cage, but then it's hard to find their way out. Uh, this trap has two. Okay, and then usually you'll have a trap door on the top, both for uh, removing the fish, the bait, and then also putting your uh, bait inside. Bait wise, you can use a block of chum, half a block of chum, throw it in there. That disperses a lot of scent and brings stuff in. Or you could just throw in a frozen brick of squid, uh, fish carcass, pretty much anything. Pinfish are very ferocious, so anything fishy, they're gonna come for it. Um, areas I look for is I want some place that has good current. Uh, I like grassy areas with the nice turtle seagrass, nice and healthy. Plus some uh, sand patches help out as well. I find that really good. Uh, looking in that uh, two to five foot range, cause you gotta watch out with the tides. You don't wanna get too shallow cause at low tide it's gonna be uh, under over water. And uh, drop it over the side, make sure that the entrance ways are on the bottom. This one has a little bit of a weighted to help with that. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. So that's a basic pinfish trap. All right, we're all done back home. Uh, found the new launch spot, that'll work out excellent. So if there's any uh, road work in Key West and it makes it too much of a hassle to go up north there, just dump off there and head out to the Gulf. Uh, when they do the bridge closing, I'm still okay. And actually my Atlantic spot is just other side of the, uh, the road there. So I'm not too bad off there either. Uh, recovered the uh, pinfish trap, so good there. and. Uh, I didn't sink, so I call that a good day. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.